Hey everyone, this is Rebecca E. Parsons, and today it is Thrifty Thursday junk journaling video. And today we're going to use this little packet of envelopes and cards that I found at the thrift store for 99 cents. So let's hop in into our creative space and start making magic. Okay, don't you just love these little flowers? Um, I'm sure you know what they are. If I do, I can't tell you that I know what they are. Um, I thought maybe they were bleeding hearts, but I doubt it. So anyway, if you know what they are, let me know. But I thought there were these, um, the cards really don't match the envelopes in size. So I'm going to do something with them. But um, I was more interested in these envelopes. And I think I'm going to show you what I'd like to do with these today. I don't really have a preconceived notion. I've just got some vision in my head about what I can do with them. I like that they have this kind of squareness there. So let's just see if it works. I don't know if it's going to, but let's hope it works. Okay, I'm going to take two envelopes and kind of nest them in together. What I want to do is make this like the cover for a signature of a book. Does that make sense? I hope it does. And I'm sure there might be 50 other people out there that have had this idea before me obviously. There's really nothing new in this world. But I just had this grand idea when I saw these envelopes. And I think it's darn it going to work. So what I'm going to do is just glue these puppies together. That was like almost like magic. And this is going to become a signature. I will um, sew some papers in there, some really nice papers for my junk journal, but there's going to be a pocket on either side of the signature. So I think that's just almost too cool. So that was way easier than I thought. I thought I was going to have to mess with this for a good while. So one thing I do like to do um, when I am working with the old envelopes is to make sure that that little stickiness um, that is this piece goes away. So I usually kind of activate that with my glue. And this is going to be a little tricky. I think I can see the tricky part now is getting glue on here and getting it down in this hole without getting glue everywhere. So what I think I should do, let me make sure that's right. What I think I should do is just put a little mark in here around where the glue will go. Just very lightly. So that I think the outside one will be fine, but the inside one is definitely going to be a mess. So I'm going to erase this just a little bit so we don't see that with our finished product. And I'm just going to come in and get close with here with my glue. I don't want to go over that line or get too close to it because it will squish out as we proceed. Does that make sense to you? <laughs> I'll hold it up and show you a little bit. Sure got my head in the way. So let me see. On this side, you probably can see a little bit better the line I created. See, I've just come in maybe an eighth or a little more than an eighth of an inch with my glue so that when I put it in here, it does not um, spill out over the edges and make a mess down in that envelope and actually seal my envelope <laughs> to itself so it doesn't make a pocket anymore. 
So, yep, it's going to be a little hard. This is a little challenging, I see already. Oops, oops, oops. Let me get it in there nicely. Not too far. We want to be able to close it and still open. Whoops, and that was wrong, Rebecca. I should not have put glue down there. I should not, should not, should not have done that. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna get a little piece of scrap paper and put in there right now over my glue. And that'll be okay. But it will still leave my pocket open, hopefully. Fun making messes with Rebecca. I knew it couldn't be as easy as I thought, huh? <laughs> okay. And I don't want that. I've got glue on the inside there that I'm going to have to deal with at some point in time. So I'm probably just going to have to put my fingers down there and pull that glue off. Thank heavens I used this one and it can pull off. So for now, I'm just going to stick one of my little non-stick sheets in there with this so it doesn't stick that part down i hope i'm making sense okay so this side should be easier i hope let's think this through rebecca okay i thought i was going to town with this and darn it Made a mess, didn't I? But that's how you learn. That's how you learn. That's how you grow. That's how you become a better artist, is just making these mistakes and learning from them. Okay. So again, the glue is a little bit back from the side. Let me put that down. Let me get my bone folder. And make sure that stays down pretty well. And I'll probably, um, I might be, I may be, and I may not be covering the outsides of these signatures. Or doing something to them. I'm sure I'll do something to them along the way. But, there we go. That's one. One, one. <laughs> And hopefully that's going to work. So let's make another one without making the mess I made in this one. Don't glue this part, Rebecca. Duh, duh. And actually, I'm telling you right now, what I think I'm going to do is just put that down in there. I don't think I'm going to put any glue there at the moment. What I probably should do is wet that glue right along there. And let me do that with my finger. Let me do it on camera so you can see me. Just go ahead and wet it and wipe it off so that glue doesn't ever become activated again. Okay, I think that's good. And what I'm going to do is just rest this down in here. Not going to glue it right at the moment. May not ever glue it. Might or might not. But then I'm going to come in and glue this back edge. So the last part of this video is the one that you're supposed to be watching. <laughs> the first part, Rebecca made mistakes. Sometimes that happens. Put my lid back on. Oops. Fold this over. Oops. Got some wet on there. I 
and make sure that that is good and stuck. So yeah, that works a whole lot better, doesn't it? <laughs> so, hmm, just get that glue off of that page. Duh, that's all you need to do. Insert the envelope together. No need to glue this edge at all. I think that's going to stay there by just the glue that we put on the back. And there you go with what we're going to do with our two signatures. And we will be coming back some more this over the next few days to see what we're going to do with these signatures in here and with these cards. There's lots of things I could do with them. I could actually just... Well, do they open? Goodness, they may just be like postcards. Well, that's even better because we could put them there. We could put them there. There's lots of things we can do with these. <laughs> I'm having a moment, people. I'm having a moment. I got a little thrown off with that glue debacle in here. But I think we got it figured out so it works. Way. There's lots of possibilities we can do with these lovely little flower cards. Hmm. Those are interesting. I wish, wish there'd have been more than two in that little box. But we can create some of those at some time in the future, can't we? Okay, enough jammering, yammering, and yakking today. I am going to get out of here and see what I can figure out for us to do tomorrow. And this is day 58, I believe, of our daily creative practice. So get into your contagious creativity and pass it on. And may joy be with you all.